Hey there, cool coders and Excel users. That's a stupid way to start, but welcome to another easy Excel tutorial. It's been many years since I've done an Excel tutorial. I've moved on to other topics since, but the introduction of XLOOKUP deserved an easy Excel tutorial. Um, thought I'd take a few minutes to show you what it is and how it how it works. Uh, this was introduced less than a year ago uh, to Office 365. It isn't available to everyone yet. If you're on a monthly subscription with Office 365, you should have it. You should have the update already. Um, but otherwise, if you're on the semi-annual plan, you should get it in July 2020. I don't have it on my local machine. I'm using Office 365 online, so this is my browser. And XLOOKUP does work here, but not on my local machine. So. The setup here is very similar to what I had with VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP a couple years ago. We have the name, the person IDs, uh, and I added a city column to show you that XLOOKUP works both left and right lookups, uh, whereas HLOOKUPs and VLOOKUPs only did from left to right. So let's do, let's find our troublemaker ID. So XLOOKUP, just like any other formula, starts with equal XLOOKUP, and it has a bunch of arguments that you can pass it. The first one is the lookup value. So we're looking up this troublemaker ID. And the lookup array is where what we're comparing that lookup value to against. So I'll also do F4 to make it an absolute reference. And we want the return array to be where we want the results to come from. So it'll be those 19 results. I'll also do F4 so that it doesn't uh, move. Uh, value if not found match mode and search modes are optional. Uh, you don't need them. The difference is, I'll, I'll, I'll go over that in a little bit, but for now I think I will just do that, just the required values and press enter and you'll see that 451236 is Jane Doe. And you know, I can autofill. And the value of uh, NA is if the value is not found. So I can actually modify this and add, you know, value if not found, I can just do, you know, uh, sorry, double quotes, uh, where it'll just enter a blank instead of this NA. If I autofill that, you'll see it's gone because now that's the value. Let's do the city next. X lookup, we're looking up again, troublemaker IDs, comma, we're doing the lookup array, these, F4, comma, uh, the results we want from the city column instead. F4, comma. Uh, search mode will, you know, for uh, the, the if not found, we'll do, you know, not found city or city not found, whatever. Not found. Uh, match mode, uh, so I'm gonna skip over a little bit so you can see. So the match mode is uh, it's similar to uh, VLOOKUP where you have an exact match or uh, an approximate match. By default is the exact match. If none is found, it returns an NA. Uh, if you do negative one, uh, it will have an exact match. If not found, it returns the next smaller item. It works. Uh, it should work with uh, both text and numbers. It'll just go alphabetical. Uh, one is if one will have the next largest value. And uh, you can also use wildcards with two, which uh, I'm not gonna cover in this tutorial yet. So match mode, we'll just keep it as zero. We want an exact match because we're looking at IDs. Search mode, there are four types of searches. We can do a regular search, uh, which is you know one which starts at the first item and makes its way down. So this is the, the normal and just like all the lookups, it'll return the first value. So even if I have four, five, one, two, three, six, multiple times, it'll return the first value it sees. If I do negative one instead of one, it'll actually start at the very bottom and work its way up. So it'll return the first value it sees from the bottom up. And it also has two new uh, values that you can set, which is two and negative two, which does a binary search, uh, which requires the columns to be sorted and it does a binary search either from the top, which is a two, or uh, from the bottom, which is a negative two. Again, it requires that to be in uh, ascending order or descending order if you're using uh, negative two, which is a, a reverse binary search, uh, you know, I'm assuming. But anyways, I'm just gonna keep it as one. We're just gonna do normal. And Jane Doe is from Doville, right? I'll go back down. So these person IDs don't exist and it says not found. So uh, as you can see with troublemaker IDs, they're in the middle. I was able to look up both the values to the left and to the right of it, name and city fairly easily. Uh, this is the formula, you can find it on easyprogramming.net. 
Uh, I hope you've learned a little bit about XLOOKUP. There is a lot of information you can see on the Microsoft support website here. So uh, they, they do give you more information as well as breakdown of the match modes and the search modes. You can get some more examples here. Uh, but anyways, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you're staying safe. And remember to visit easyprogramming.net for more information on everything that I've covered, including all of my new tutorials. Thanks for watching. Have a great one.